the things you normally be expected to do on the literacy test is to read a selection and then answer a question using supporting detail taken directly from the text. In this news story, you're going to be asked to answer whether or not city officials uh, should be concerned over people putting these locks on the bridge and throwing the keys into the river. In order to answer it, what is important is that you ensure, first and foremost, use the space that's given to you. Many times students are unsuccessful on the literacy test because their answers are too short and too lacking in detail and explanation. The instructions on the literacy test are always very clear and very precise. If it says answer the question and use a supporting detail, make sure that you've actually done both of those parts. Try to avoid insisting on putting your own opinion into it or adding details that aren't actually present in the story. For example, um, it doesn't say anything in there about gladiators or anything else that you might feel is important because it's your own personal knowledge about Rome or Roman history. Leave those sorts of details out. One of the things that you're going to want to do is to be sure that you've actually answered the question that you've been asked. This is another important step. If it asks you, should city officials in Rome be worried or pleased about putting the locks on the lamppost, make sure that you actually answer that question. One of the ways to express an opinion more effectively is to avoid using I think. Your opinions oftentimes, although they are opinions, will seem stronger if you state them as if they're facts. So in this case, you might want to say, city officials should be worried because. That's a good start. It clearly answers the question and it establishes that you're going to provide an explanation. On the other hand, you may disagree and you, and you could say, city officials should not be worried because, and then provide an explanation. Use a detail taken directly from the text. Now, in the examples that we have, in the first one, the student says, I think they should be pleased about the fact of putting locks on the lamppost because it makes it look nicer. Part of the problem with this, first and foremost, it's too short. Secondly, the explanation is so unclear. It says it makes it look nicer. Those its don't really refer to anything. Somebody reading it would not necessarily understand exactly what it is that the student means. The second example is a little bit better. It says they should be worried because in the future a lot of people would visit that place and it would be crowded with people and locks. A couple of things to note here. There are a couple of spelling mistakes. A lot, for example, is not a word. Crowded should have a W in it. More importantly, the idea that it would just be crowded with a lot of locks seems to ignore the fact that it is a tourist destination. People would be coming specifically to see that bridge and the locks that are on it. So it seems to not recognize or understand the reading selection, which is an important detail. The point here is that because there are so many people going and putting the locks on, it would draw additional people to do it. In a sense, if they decided that they wanted to keep the tradition going, that would be precisely what they would want. The third example is the best one. It says the city officials in Rome should be worried about the fad of putting locks on the lampposts. The bridge was built 2,200 years ago, therefore, we don't know how stable it may be. The city officials have already begun to worry, as they said, wonder whether the ancient Roman pedestrian bridge is suited to such an overwhelming display of emotion. Officials should be worried about the safety of the tourists visiting the site. Is this perfect? It isn't. But it is a good answer in the sense that it demonstrates a few things. First off, the student has a well-developed response. The student has made an effort to quote directly from the text instead of just paraphrasing. These are demonstrations of English skill. The student has also thought a little beyond a very simple answer. The student also develops the answer following a more standard English development of ideas using point, proof, explanation as an example. This is the sort of answer that would likely get you full marks on the literacy test.